Welcome to the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency video news podcast, bringing you the latest stories from around the UK's coasts. This month, dangerous goods. How the MCA looks after shipping safety. For the UK, 95% of trade is transported by sea. So anything which endangers that flow has immense implications for safety, the environment and financial loss. Almost 25,000 passengers per day pass through the port of Dover and on the same ferries, almost 9,000 trucks carry an infinite variety of goods. Most of those goods are perfectly harmless, but sometimes the most common products, wrongly carried, have the potential to cause serious damage. Goods which are dangerous can be packaged in everything from aerosols and gas cylinders to portable tanks, and how they're labelled, packaged and stowed makes all the difference to how safely they travel. Here it is. Well, what we're looking for is we've got the printer's ink which is here, but there's another pallet with some dangerous goods which are, appear to be a two-pack epoxy of some description which we've just found up here but it appears to be packed okay it's on a pallet it's um, got the correct uh, signs on the outside of it and the details of it so all we need to do is just make sure that he gets the marine pollutant sign put on the DG note which it isn't at the moment Tank Tainer is uh, tested on a regular basis and the test dates are put on this plate at the back which gives all the details about the tank and on this particular tank it was last tested in February of this year so it's within date so therefore we know that the tank is suitable for the carriage of the cargo. The cargo is always going to be the same on this particular tank as it's a permanent tank assigned to it. What we saw with this container was um, initially on the external faces of the container some of the placarding was missing. This one can be rectified quite quickly. On opening the container however we noticed that the load was not correctly stowed. Um, the first thing we noticed was that there was no separation between the drums because what can happen is you get friction during the voyage which can cause leakages. So the drums should have some separation between them. Then the second one, which gives us even more concern, is that although we use a strop, when we actually started opening the door, we could actually feel the load starting to shift. So again, it was not correctly stowed. We then closed the door and we'll be issuing a prohibition on this container, asking the loader of the container to rectify there non-compliances before it can go forward onto the ship. Yeah this one again is very badly stowed as you can see it's collapsed the stow has collapsed before it's even left the UK. It's come here on just on a, a road and rail journey and it's not been to, on a sea journey yet. Um, what will happen with this one will be returned to the consignor and they will be asked to restow it in a secure and safe manner. The transport of packaged dangerous goods is regulated through the International Maritime Dangerous Goods IMDG Code. The IMDG Code applies to all journeys involving domestic or international ferries and cargo ships, carrying packaged goods and operating in rivers, estuaries or the open sea. If not correctly packaged, stowed and declared, the shipping of dangerous goods has the potential to jeopardise everyone in the chain. Crew, dock workers, hauliers, public and passengers, fishermen, emergency responders, and of course, the environment in which the goods are transported. The possibility of serious consequences from the transport of dangerous goods remains a major concern. In the case of this 4,300 TEU vessel, an explosion in the hold and the subsequent fire in the deck cargo burned for more than 14 days. There were two fatalities.